Hi there, I'm going to show you how to use the Polybevel node in Houdini. It is a super easy tool to use, and you can get a lot of different transformations and overall looks using it. To start off, we are going to go up here to Box and select that. And then we're going to go ahead and double click into this to access the actual um, box shape. And then we're going to move it over a little bit. If you hit tab, you can see um, the menu pop up. And if you start just typing in poly, you can see there's all the different options. You can either choose poly bevel from up here, or if you've used um, other tools recently, it's down here in our history. We'll go ahead and select that and then apply it. And then we're just going to go ahead and drag and connect. And then you can see um, we have our box selected still. And if we apply our bevel, it's just changing. Um, this kind of square shape on the inside, um, so we'll leave it there, and then we select the actual poly bevel node. You can see here it's applied that curvature to the sides, and then if we play with it, you can get it all the way down to a diamond or back up to our square, and then you can kind of play around with it, get those different shapes. You can see over here there's a menu, just kind of a, a shortcut on how to use things. Um, there's that dragging left and right. You can add loops, you can remove them, um, and change the number of divisions being made. Um, and if you go over here, you can change those as well. So you can manually change the distance right here if you need something a bit more precise and not more freehanded. So we can change it and see it apply. You can go down here to our um, options down here. So you can change the overall shape that's being applied. You can see the divisions that are being made. So if we actually go all the way up to 20, it turns into a sphere or you can turn it back down, turning to that diamond. We're going to go ahead and take down our overall distance back into kind of a square. And then if we change the overall type here, you can change it to none, and it actually cuts out um, a lot of that inside and leaves just the remaining faces. If you go back to the solid option, you can change the divisions being made on that. And then if we go down to, where'd it go? down to the round option. You can change the convexity of it and then you can see that it actually turned kind of in words on itself and if you change the distance on that it um, will do it further so as well. And then we can also apply this to a ton of different other shapes that you make. So we're going to go ahead and click back out of that and then we're going to open up a sphere. We're going to go ahead and place that and then we're going to drag over just a little bit. And then on the sphere, we're going to double click in, hit tab, and pull up polybevel again, attach those. And then you can go ahead and see the differences being made and make sure that it's selected. Um, and there we go, you can kind of see the overall bevel being applied. Since it's a sphere, there's not too much kind of it's taken into bevel since it's already really round. But if we go to none, you can change this um, and actually kind of make it like almost a disco ball kind of effect. Um, you can also change the distance that those are being separated by um, from one to, or all the way up to one, but since that's really small, you don't really see them. So we'll go ahead and turn that back down a little bit so we can actually see our shape we're making. And then if we go there, change that back to round. Um, you can change the convexity of it, but since it's a sphere, there's not much kind of in things to take in and change that. So it really depends on the shape you're playing with and kind of what the settings are going to do to it. But we can make one more over here. Drag some more space over. We're going to go ahead and make a chorus and change our viewport a little bit. There we go. And then double click, add in our poly bevel and patch that. Uh, make sure that's selected so we can see what's happening. Um, so, similar to the sphere, given the geometry, it's really round already, so it's not beveling too much. But once again, you can apply kind of that none option to it um, to get the, the faces only, change the distance on those guys. So there's definitely some applications you could use for this. You can always make animations where um, this, this kind of cuts out all of a sudden, and you can do that. You can make it bigger or smaller. Um, and then with the, the cube that we made, um, having the ability to make a bunch of these like little diamond shapes or other similar things could be really helpful depending on your project. So that'll be the polybevel tool, kind of a quick run through on the different options you can do with it.